I am Kyungeun Lee from Korea University Hospital. The title of our study is Performance of Digital Mammography Based AI CAD on Synthetic Mammography from Digital Breast Tomosynthesis. DBT provides three dimensional images of the breast by acquiring multiple projection images at different angles. Combining DBT with digital mammography has been shown to improve cancer detection rates and reduce recall rates compared to using digital mammography alone. However, this approach doubled the radiation dose and increased scan time. To address these issues, synthetic mammography, a two-dimensional image synthesized from DBT, has been introduced. Studies have reported that, when combined with DBT, synthetic mammography demonstrates diagnostic accuracy comparable to that of digital mammography. Recently, AI-CAD has been increasingly integrated into mammography in clinical practice. It has improved diagnostic performance and reduced reading time. Initial AI CAD systems were developed using digital mammography data. Since both digital and synthetic mammography are 2D images with reported comparable accuracy, we hypothesized that digital mammography based AI CAD could potentially perform well on synthetic mammography. Therefore, we aimed to test the performance of an AI CAD designed for digital mammography when applied to synthetic mammography, and we further evaluated its sensitivity and specificity according to mammographic and pathologic characteristics. This is a retrospective study from the single center. The inclusion criteria comprise patients with biopsy-proven breast cancer who underwent surgery at our hospital between January 2019 and December 2021. During this period, our institution routinely performed both digital mammography and DBT for preoperative workup in breast cancer patients. Exclusion criteria included patients who had received neoadjuvant chemotherapy, excision or vacuum assisted biopsy, prior breast surgery, and those with missing images. The following data were retrospectively collected from EMR. The clinical data included age, family history of breast cancer, menopausal status, and presence of cancer-related symptoms. Pathological data were based on surgical pathology reports and included T-stage, N-stage, and molecular subtype. Digital mammography and DBT were obtained simultaneously using the same equipment, and synthetic mammography images were automatically reconstructed from DBT. The clinical radiology reports have been collected, including breast density and mammographic features of known breast cancers. A commercial AI CAD was retrospectively applied to both digital and synthetic mammography. The AI CAD generated abnormality scores ranging from 0 to 100% for the CC and ML views of each breast. With the cutoff threshold of this program set at 10%, Abnormality scores lower than 10% were considered test negative, while the scores of 10 or greater were considered test positive. The median abnormality scores were compared between digital and synthetic mammography in breast with cancer using the Wilcoxon signed rank test. The calibration performance was evaluated using calibration curves. Discrimination performances of AI CAD were compared between digital and synthetic mammography. AUCs were compared using the Long's method. Sensitivity, specificity, and accuracy with the 10% threshold were compared using the McNamara test. Sensitivity and specificity were compared according to symptoms, mammographic, and pathologic characteristics. Our analysis included data from 1,002 breasts consisting of 517 with cancer and 485 without cancer. The overall median score of synthetic mammography was significantly lower than that of digital mammography in breasts with cancer. Synthetic mammography generally exhibited significantly lower median scores compared to digital mammography across subgroups categorized by symptom, mammographic, 
and pathologic characteristics, except for asymmetry or architectural distortion with microcalcifications and T3 to 4 stage cancers. The lack of statistical significance in these groups is likely attributable to the small sample sizes. The calibration curve for synthetic mammography demonstrated a greater deviation from the ideal line compared to digital mammography, indicating inferior calibration performance. The mean absolute error was higher for synthetic mammography than for digital mammography. Compared with digital mammography, AICAD applied to synthetic mammography demonstrated lower sensitivity, higher specificity, and comparable accuracy in AUC. AICAD showed significantly lower sensitivity on synthetic mammography than digital mammography in asymptomatic breasts and dense breasts. Sensitivity was also significantly lower on synthetic mammography for occult cancers on mammography. Ductal carcinoma in site 2, T1 cancers, NOD negative cancers, and hormone receptor positive HER2 negative subtype. This is a representative case showing decreased abnormality score and sensitivity of AI CAT on synthetic mammography for a T1 and 0 invasive ductal carcinoma with hormone receptor positive HER2 negative subtype. Digital mammography shows a mass in the left upper outer breast. AICAD output screenshot detects the mass with abnormality scores of 72% on both CC and MLO views. Synthetic mammography shows a less evident mass with abnormality scores of 9 and 6% on CC and MLO views respectively. AICAD output screenshot does not mark the cancer because the scores are below the cutoff of 10%. Specificity was significantly higher in dense breast and breast without biopsy confirmed atypical lesions on synthetic mammography compared to digital mammography. Specificity was comparable in non dense breast and breast with atypia. This is a representative case demonstrating higher specificity of AI CAT on synthetic mammography compared to digital mammography. Digital mammography shows a mass with microclassifications in the left lower inner breast, which is confirmed as cancer, and an incidental focal asymmetry in the right upper outer breast. AI CAD output screenshot marks the asymmetry with the abnormality scores of 33% and 22% on CC and MLO views, respectively. Synthetic mammography shows a less evident asymmetry with abnormality scores of 0.62 and 0.46% on CC and MLO views, respectively. AI CAD output screenshot does not mark the asymmetry in the right breast because the scores are below the cutoff of 10%. Our study had several limitations. First, selection bias may have occurred due to the single center retrospective design. Second, we utilized a single AI CAT system, which limits the generalizability of our results. Third, excluding patients who underwent neoadjuvant chemotherapy led to fewer cases of locally advanced HER2 positive or triple negative cancers. Fourth, we evaluated the standalone performance of AI CAT applied to digital and synthetic mammography without considering DBT images or radiologist performance in clinical practice. Furthermore, our cancer-enriched cohort of the preoperative cases may not reflect AI CAD performance in screening settings. Lastly, mammographic features were analyzed based on clinical radiology reports, which may have introduced bias due to inter-observer variability. In conclusion, AI CAD showed lower abnormality scores and reduced calibration performance on synthetic mammography compared to digital mammography. Furthermore, the 10% preset threshold resulted in different discrimination performance between synthetic and digital mammography. Given these limitations, the off-label application of the current AI CAD to synthetic mammography should be avoided. Thank you for your attention.